Men's Basketball Media Day presented by TIAA. Nebraska coming off its first NCAA tournament appearance in a decade. A change to USC, Eric Musselman, the new head man, adding 11 transfers in the offseason. That's the most in all of Division I. Indiana Hoosiers set to start their fourth season under Mike Woodson. You talk about a transfer offseason, three of the top five Big Ten transfers coming out of the portal and landing in Bloomington. And with that in mind, welcome in the head coaches of those teams, Fred Hoiberg, Eric Musselman, Mike Woodson, kind enough to join us. Mike, you've been obviously very busy, you and your staff, in the offseason with the transfer portal, but it's always important to get some time to recharge the batteries. You know about keeping the pace when you've been in this business for as long as you have, and I, and I understand you were able to recharge those batteries not far away in California as well a little bit this summer. I'm dead as Don't want to eat. It was all fly. Thank you, Larry. My wife likes it out there a lot, so it's been about three weeks out there this summer. You obviously did spend some time, you and your staff, in that portal. Talk about some of the amazing transfers you have coming in. Omar Ballo, Carlisle's on that list, Miles Rice, so many other guys. Uh, how were you able to do that? What's that process like now when it is so important to get into the portal and get players that can fit immediately into your program? We had no choice. I mean, I lost three players, too. I lost two seniors. I had to go out along with my staff and start, you know, really working and try to build our team back. And we were able to come west and get the ball on, as you mentioned, and Miles Rice and Kenny Carlisle. And then we were fortunate enough to get Goody to come back home. She's a Bloomington kid. And then we got a freshman in uh, Rice and Tucker. to get a little bit deeper into March this coming season. When you returned to your alma mater, I'm sure you had an idea of where you wanted the program to be at this point. How does that compare to where you feel like the program actually is? I mean, I think we had a step backwards last year when not making the tournament. And that was kind of disappointing. But again, we got to move forward. Uh, the first two years, a lot of these guys had been in the tournament for five years. And they tasted it a little bit. You know, at the end of the day, Guys, it's about winning Big Ten titles, winning national titles. That's why I came back. Uh, I remember the good days back when I played, and, and some of the great years that Bob Knight had in Indiana that you know it's been missing. And to be back, and, and, and I'm able to you know, put my stamp on it. You know, it's it's going to be great for me. I mean, I'm happy to be back, but we still got a long. And Mike, it certainly helps when you have guys who have been through that grind before, uh, like Trey, like Malik McKenzie experienced it and, and now expects some growth this year. What do you need from those guys specifically and those veterans who have been on this team to try to meld in all the newcomers? We need them to leave, you know, and make another jump. I thought Malik made a hell of a jump in his freshman year. McKenzie, tremendous jump. And you know, we, Trey Galloway is who he is. He's been a leader since I've had him. Unfortunately, he had the knee surgery uh, this past season, uh, and he's worked his butt off this summer to get back. He's not fully covered, but he's he's getting there. So I'm going to need all three of those guys to be. You know, we got some seniors, but we also have a bunch of young guys as well too that have not really experienced the Big Ten, like Miles Rice and Caleb Carlisle and Tucker. So we're going to need those veteran guys to step up and get involved. Let's. Let's finish here, guys, on your campuses. Obviously, there's a lot of momentum right now with your with your football programs as well. Indiana's kind of surprising everybody. Uh, Mike, have you felt that vibe of your players talked about maybe getting the chance to go to Memorial Stadium and watch the Hoosier football team this year? I think Coach Lenny has done a good job. I mean, he's put a great group of guys together. Uh, and I mean, he's got running backs, he's got receivers, he's got a hell of a quarterback. So I'm, I couldn't be more happy for it's been a while you know, that I've seen our programs, even in the top 25. And, uh, 
She uh, gave him a lot of credit for that. So I'm, I'm waiting for one question. This will be 